Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am here to take you on a fantastic tour. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Please feel free to text or call me with any questions. And of course, this video is live on Facebook. Uh, as usual, I'd like to go ahead and start from the inside out. So Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. Today we are looking at a 2022 Dutch Star. Uh, this is a fantastic opportunity to show you a bunch of really cool things. So first and foremost, this is the 4081. It used to be called a 4018. Newmar tends to do that with their coaches. If they just do a little bit of a modification, they'll change the number slightly. Um, and in this coach, another cool thing about the 4081 is this is also today built on the Spartan K2 chassis. So typically you'll see us come in with Freightliners that's the standard chassis on the Dutch Star, but anytime you go over 40 feet, so in other words, those first three, lo three uh, models that are 37 feet are not eligible, but anything over 43 feet on the Dutch Star is el eligible for the uh, Spartan K2 chassis. So we'll talk about that today as well. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about some changes that we'll see in 2022, one of which is that we will no longer have this beautiful sable maple uh, hardwood finish. So this is a sable maple, a hardwood matte finish and it is a lovely ultra uber dark cabinet and it's going away in 2023 it's going to be replaced with a really nice uh, driftwood which is a light gray um, but i love this cabinetry uh, things that will stay the same though fantastic sackable washer and dryer here we've got our splendid uh, dryer on top washer on the bottom of course that's because of weight uh, and also one of the things to note about this is it's really cool you know these are um Oh, it's been tested. That's kind of funny. So these are really nice little distribution centers where you can put your bleach and your uh, fabric softener and your soap all in the same compartment, just like you would when you're doing your laundry at home. And in a very similar fashion as well, you can have lightly soiled, a quick wash, permanent press, or you can do your delicates. You could do jeans, active wear. So it's really nice that you can actually, you know, change uh, the wash cycle to fit the type of laundry that you're having. And in my experience, um, when we do our laundry when we're on the road, I think it uses about 20% of my gray water uh, capacity. So if that's the case, I can do at least three loads, if not four or five, um, but three loads very safely. And it's a great opportunity. Of course, you would have to run your eight kilowatt generator, which is standard on this RV uh, while you're in motion, but you could do all of your laundry between one point to the next, which is really nice. Um, here in the 4081, another great feature is this closet. So we love, all the space that you get here. And as usual, you'll find that we do have LED lights in all of these closets and a ton of hanging space. And this is particularly nice because there's some long hanging space here. Uh, if you have anything like maybe wetsuits, snow bibs, uh, and then you've got, of course, the shorter side. And then on the left, you have your safe. So that safe is a really cool feature that we offer here at Newmar. And it's not terribly deep, but it's plenty of room to hold your valuables, your jewelry, and then there's a place to lock up any extra keys that you might have for additional vehicles that you're bringing with you. Uh, so just a really nice setup here. Uh, of course, that is the optional safe feature, and we'll find most people do take advantage of it. It's nice to be able to lock things up when you're on the road. But look at all this additional storage you get with the 84081. So beautiful, full extension, soft closed doors. Uh, really nice his and hers side uh, um, compartments in terms of your drawer storage. So you could have one side that's his, one side that's hers. Uh, in this model, just to save space, we do have a single uh, sink here in the back. And this is a bath and a half model, so you'll also have another sink in the middle as well as another toilet. And then a ton of space down below here to store towels. And while we're down here, I want to show something that really is unique to this product. So what we have down here is your courtesy light. Um, I don't know if anyone can ever understand how incredibly useful having courtesy lights are throughout your coach. So courtesy lights are on their own switch. Um, this has got a heated floor, which is also on its own switch. So you've got high, medium, and low heat in this bathroom, even on the engine cover. Uh, and then you have courtesy lights that are on their own switch as well. You have a vanity light and then you have your overhead. So depending on what kind of, um, you know, moving around you're doing in the evening, at, 
in your RV, there's a bunch of different light settings that are so nice uh, where you can really, um, you know, leave your courtesy lights on so that you can get up and use the facilities without having too much light. It's a real luxury in an RV to have uh, lighting like this. Uh, now you'll note this is a fantastic medicine cabinet. It's so deep. Um, it's all carpet lined. Um, the Amish that we have working with us in Napanee are just very, very proud of um, the maple cabinetry that they provide to us. They take great attention to detail and they manufacture a very high end, uh, very high quality product. But you can see it's just so well done. And even little things like this chain keeping you from hitting this valance above, just very, very uh, well thought out, fantastic design by Numar. Of course, here we have a porcelain toilet. And then we have a great place to keep not only your toilet paper dispenser, but some extra toilet paper, maybe some feminine supplies, things along those lines out of sight. So really, really, really cool layout. Um, and then one of the things I like to talk about is this little flush sensor here. Um, when this is illuminated orange, it tells you your tank is full. That's really nice because I don't know that we would always think about, oh, juice, is my black tank full? Should I use the facilities? Well, if there's an alert to you right here so that you know not to go ahead and participate in that uh, if, you, if, it's, if it's full. Um, and you don't have to go like logging into your app or, you know, looking at your, um, oh, unlock. Uh-oh. Okay, so someone told me once, it'd be a shame if you get locked in here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Sometimes I have a hard time with the most simple objects. I also had a really hard time with the couch this morning, but I got that figured out too. Um, so this is a magnetic cover. What's nice about this cover is you can see that there's a ladder in here, which deploys. It's a very robust and sturdy ladder that you can put down and up. So if you did need to escape through an escape hatch in your RV, you could do that. Um, if you were just using this though to bring in your linens, maybe bring in your towels, all of the things, your supplies for the day, it's a great location to be able to do that. So this egress door is a very, very nice feature that's standard on this model. Okay, that works perfectly well. Um, now, another thing we wanna talk about is the fact that not only do you have a vent here, but you also have a fantastic fan above. So you can create that flow in here of fresh air if necessary, which is also very, very nice. Um, another thing that we should definitely mention is the shower. So first of all, I'm a big fan of square showers, but look at this luxurious rain head. And then you've got this beautiful cathedral ceiling, which gives you so much more height. So for those of you that are tall, or if you're just wearing like four inch high heels, like I usually do during videos, uh, you can fit here very easily underneath this rain shower head. And then there's this beautiful teak bench, which will allow you to sit down, wash your feet, and you'll note that there's a soap uh, holder here or another ledge you could keep you know, your shampoo and conditioner in, as well as one up here which has a bar in front of it so while you're in motion, everything's not gonna go flying off. Um, your wand and all of your, uh, all of your um, faucets are in this beautiful dark metal. And then you'll note here we have this, again, Aquaview Aquamizer system. So one of the things that's really nice about this is I can go ahead and take this and turn it on to recycle. And then when I'm running my water, what it's going to do is it's going to actually heat the water through our tankless hot water system. And then when it turns, when it is hot enough, this will turn color so you'll know that it's heated and you can put it back over to regular. Now you wouldn't use this in a system where you were actually on sewer um, and fresh water fill from your uh, campsite. You would use this more if you were boondocking. And the reason you do it was because, would be because what it does is it takes out of that 105 gallon tank of fresh water, uh, your fresh water and brings it back warmer into that fresh water tank so it keeps recycling it through that tank until you're ready to use it and then when you flip the switch then it starts feeding into the gray tank and filling up that gray tank so it, it will definitely save you um, some degree of uh, gray water and for me gray water is uh, paramount you know with doing my hair like this and just like you need to take nice hot showers that are relaxing um, I go through quite a bit of gray water so certainly a cool system there um, another few kitsch features that we should definitely talk about. I'm gonna grab my, my little clipboard, Jody. Um, the cathedral ceiling is a big differentiating factor between the Ventana and the Dutch Star. So of course, giving us that great room, but something you'll find in all of our coaches is going to be this towel hook, which I think is um, magnificent. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't have one in my Superstar because there's no room for it. And it makes me really sad. I also don't have this. 
How awesome is that? Full length uh, built in mirror. Such a beautiful, sturdy, and heavy door once again. Fantastic craftsmanship. Okay, so today we're running off of our eight kilowatt generator. If you were to buy a Dutch Star in a 43 foot, you'd have a 10 kilowatt. Um, and you have two air conditioning pumps. And as you can see, your 15,000 BTU ACs are also heat pumps, but they're hidden by this beautiful designer ceiling. Um, of course, it's still soft touch. LED lights throughout the coach, so it doesn't make anything too hot. And then some other really luxurious features that we should mention, once again, the setup, it's all about the setup. What do you get when you spend a little bit more money and when you go on to that next line? Well, you get uh, two 110 outlets as well as two USB ports. And then there's a little sleeve up a top where you could actually run a cord through. So you can have as many things going into that compartment as you like, and you can have them either stowed inside or you can just run your cord through and keep everything on top of your nightstand on either side. Now, one of the things I really, really like about the Dutch Star is that you do have these windows on both sides. So you've got great cross ventilation. I think that that's a big deal for me. Um, also, you've got these grommets where you could actually run a cord down if you wanted to go ahead and charge any kind of computer or laptop. There's a 110 outlet on either side. Starting in 2022, we went to an all lights off switch. So right here, you could actually push a button. Another really clutch feature. You can turn one with one click of a button, all of the lights off in the entire coach. That is such a nice feature because of course, you know, which light do you leave on? The one at the very front that's on its own independent switch. So what do you do? You just push the all lights off button, everything's off. Such a nice feature. Another great thing to talk about, for those of you that have CPAP machines, on both the left and the right hand side here, you have a lot of storage space uh, for a CPAP machine. And of course, as I mentioned, you can run those cords through those two 110 outlets. You could have a laptop plugged in and your CPAP machine. You could have your phone plugged into the USB port. I mean, it's very, very convenient. Uh, you'll see the little uh, motor in the back that is the air inflator for the sleep number bed. And then these two chairs are because we have the extendable booth dinette. So this Euro booth that we have is extendable. As you can see, these are very, very large leaves that uh, fill into this, making for a great amount of dining space. Uh, for those of you who have never heard it, or for those of you who know, six for drinks, four for dinner, two to sleep. Um, this is a great place. You could actually have six for dinner even with this coach. So very, very nice. So now that we're gonna take a look at the other side of this master suite, one thing to note is take a look at this beautiful tile and note that it goes not only underneath the bed, but all the way through to this exceedingly long slide that goes all the way down to the front of the coach. So what happens here is when you go into the Dutch Star, you have a hydraulic slide, so that slide can actually lift up and then pull in, and, and being able to do so, it allows us to have a full tile floor. And this is your second zone, so this is also a heated floor here. Um, again, we talked about the hanging space in the bathroom, but tons and tons of hanging space here. So lots of room for your shirts, your day-to-day -day accessories, and then in the back, of course, for coats, maybe dresses. Um, we actually go out to dinner quite often when we're on the road. And I love the way that they designed this, that it comes out all the way. So you're not limited in space. You don't lose anything. Same drawer capacity on all of these drawers until you get to this last one here. And of course, this is your audio video section. This is where you can keep not only, you know, the things that you would use, like if you wanted to have a Blu-ray player, you could do that here, but also maybe remotes for your shades. Maybe the remote for your television, maybe your laptop, maybe anything um, like, a uh, I like to do everything in bins that are labeled with a label maker, but your cords and all those little doodads that you have throughout the coach can all have a home in one nice location. And of course that is because this is such a very residential coach. Uh, this coach would be great for anybody who wanted to stay under 40 feet, but still have 450 horsepower, still have what is the most important rating of course when it comes to power, 1,250 foot pounds of torque. Um, of course, that torque is what gets you up a hill, off the line. It's what gives you towing capacity. Uh, this has got a 15,000 pound towing capacity. Um, so, so many fantastic things. And then one of the really nice things about uh, the Dutch Star is the Dutch Star is also on a 40 foot and above a tag axle. So there's an axle that tags along back. And what that does is it pivots. So anytime you're under 20 miles an hour, there's a pin that releases from inside 
and it releases from that caliper and what it does is it allows the wheel to turn it's giving you an even better turning radius because that that rear wheel will turn which means you're really turning between the front and center axle giving you much much better dexterity to get in and out of parking spots giving you a much smaller turning radius and then on top of it that tag axle gives you the extra buoyancy so that if you are pulling something heavy behind you you're not going to feel it as much on the road so these are all fantastic features that have to do with the Dutch Star um, like again I'll say 450 horsepower 1250 foot-pounds of torque and a 15,000 pound towing capacity all really really nice features another nice feature is that you have an optional blinds system so these MCD shades are power What's great about the power shades is that you can open up all the shades in your RV with a touch of a button, which is so nice. Now you'll note that we also have the carefree awning system deployed here, right in front of our emergency exit. The switch for that is right here under your 4K TV. Now, of course, this is a 4K smart TV. And what that means is that you can just use your Netflix or Hulu or Peacock account, whatever it is that you use to watch TV as opposed to having a DVD player, which is why we no longer installed them in the coaches after 2022. So I've just retracted our power carefree awning. Again, that's just a really nice feature that makes the Dutch Star unique. You have uh, Dutch Star on up, you'll have power awnings available to you as opposed to the manual awnings. Um, I have a Superstar. I use my awnings all the time, but I do have to go out there and kind of fish for the hook and pull them down and latch them in place. Is it, is it easy? Yeah, it's actually pretty easy. Would it be nicer just to have like a little button underneath? Oh yeah, that would be a lot nicer. So certainly one of those things to consider. Uh, now I am gonna go ahead and drop the nightshades just so you can see this. This is what I was talking about. It's so nice, as you can see, all the shades in the room are just going down with a touch of one button. So now I'm ready for bedtime. Uh, we've been talking about differentiation. I do wanna do go ahead and take a, take a section just to turn off all of these lights. Take a look at this. I have just the accent lights up here. So, so nice on either side of the bed. If I want to be able to leave the accent lights on until it's bedtime, that way I've got kind of a nice soft glow in the coach. And then I can also turn those off and you'll see down below, I can still see on either side of the bed with my courtesy lights. So again, these are just little kitsch features that really make for a different experience uh, when you're RVing. And I think that they're really important to, re to, to list out because a lot of people will say, well, why would I spend the extra money on a Ventana? Why would I spend the extra money on the Dutch Star? And every time we go up in product line, there's always different little things that come with the territory. And they're actually fairly easily de defined. Wow, do I look great in that silhouette, Jody, or what? Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Um, okay, so and it's not St. Patrick's Day, but we have a very beautiful uh, custom exterior color. This interior is called Wiley. Uh, again, this is that sable maple uh, matte finish. Um, and if you have any questions about this, uh, just note that there are links down below. Uh, so you can always click on them, go to our inventory, see all the still photos that we have as well as the videos. And we are always going to repost these at TTTRV on YouTube, or we'll also post these again at RVs Inside Out. That's where I put all of my, my live videos. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of information on this coach and we can help you to kind of weed through it because there's a lot of little things to note. Like take a look at this cabinet space. This is another one of those features. When you open up the door on your Dutch Star, the lights come on automatically, differentiating it between that and the Ventana, or for instance, my Superstar, which is not a big deal. It has a little switch. Um, and in speaking from experience, I've got a client who just picked up an Essex and it went to that fancy system where the bar uh, like latched it shut and he prefers these. So these are really cool because you don't have to worry about anything coming out and there's no lock to deploy. It won't go in all the way unless you push it into place and then of course it locks and it won't come out. So it's just kind of a smart system. It makes it a little bit foolproof. Um, so, of course, next to this pantry, we have a beautiful full-size refrigerator. Uh, we use this Whirlpool in just about everything uh, until you get to the point where we're using, you know, I don't know, Wolf or, you know, Viking if you want to get a King Air. Um, all of that being said, this is a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. It is chock full of really nice features. It's got vegetable drawers that are both adjustable to uh, vegetables or to, uh, to fruit. It's got a great uh, meat and cheese drawer down here to keep lots of, you know, your bacon and any of your, you know, nicer cheeses for your cheese plates. Uh, fantastic removable shelf where you can keep all of your bottles of Prosecco. As you could tell, I like a nice charcuterie board. I love a good bottle of champagne or Prosecco uh, when I'm out camping. It's probably a little bougie of me, but I guess that's what you get. 
Um, I love this huge, huge amount of storage in your freezer. Um, of course, we have an ice maker as well as an, a water dispenser. Um, but we also have it outside uh, the Medic on a slide, which is another great feature of this coach, making this kitchen all that much more useful. So let's talk about this layout. So first of all, the smoked mirrors with a, with a nice chair rail, great uh, feature to this coach, giving you that feeling of lots of room. Uh, this is a very decadent interior. Um, and I have the ceiling lights off now, so I've got a really nice soft glow, as you can see, because I've left on the lights only on either left and right hand side. Again, this is very important to understand that having all of these different light controls really allows you to have a much more unique setting where you can control how you're walking into a coach. It's not just all lights are blazing. And even your ceiling lights have a dimmable feature where you can put them to different, uh, different brightnesses. So if you're, it's like you know 12.30 at night and you're hanging out playing cards, it doesn't have to be like you're in the stadium under the spotlights. It can be a nice, soft, subtle light and just a really good place to commune with your friends and just to drink a glass of wine and just relax. So love that feature. Um, okay, so back to this galley. Tons of nice storage space. Again, all carpet lines, so you're not going to have those rattles. The rubber shell features are just so convenient because you can reach all the way to the back without having to get a step stool out. For those of us who are vertically challenged, it's a very nice thing. Um, and then if you're interested in the colors, this is the special color palette for this coach. Um, you're going to find it is absolutely decadent. It's got a beautiful navy blue with a nice creamy white and a bright brit silver. So I can get you all of these colors. And keep in mind, almost all of the coaches that I special order and deliver um, are, are special. Are their special paints? You know, it's really nice to walk into the campsite, look up, and know that that's your RV because nobody else has the same color combination. It's relatively inexpensive. All it takes is a little bit of patience because of course then you get to order your coach to spec. It comes out the color that you want but you do have to wait for it to get built. So uh, as long as you've got that patience you can take advantage of that magnificent feature. Again even in the spice tray up here still carpet lined. Uh, below that of course we have our beautiful Whirlpool convection and microwave oven. This is a huge capacity in here. Uh, for those of you that are wondering yes you could put a turkey in here. You could also put a tray of Toll House cookies. You could also just microwave a burrito. So all of those features available in this fantastic Whirlpool oven, uh, microwave and convection oven. Very, very nice size. Um, again, more storage places. Great place for, pla for plates and bowls. Um, I just love the kitchen on the 4081. Of course, no kitchen would be complete without, of course, its stovetop. And we are using the true induction uh, cooktop. I like to talk about the fact that you could actually boil a pot of water with a paper towel underneath it on the stovetop and it wouldn't catch in fire. This is a very, very big safety feature. Um, it's also much more uh, quick to heat, so you can boil water in about a third of the time as it would take with a conventional uh, gas burner. And what's interesting about this as well is that because it's using a magnetic field, it's not like a coil underneath for those of you who think that this is like that old ceramic cooktop, it's not that. Um, but what it's doing is uh, it's using a magnetic uh, connection to your pots and pans. So if your if your pan will have a magnet stick to it, it would work. I use an all-clad copper core for mine because it actually distributes the heat all the way through the pan evenly, which is really nice. Um, but it also doesn't have a difference in performance at altitude. So there's no variation. It's very consistent. You can set it to 250, 350, 400 degrees. And as soon as you remove the pot from that surface and there's no longer that magnetic attraction, it just turns off. So there's no forgetting to turn the stove off. Um, also, really important, because of the fact that it's completely removable, you can take this outside and make your bacon, you can cook your fish, all of those things. And you can use the same cookware without having to worry about damaging it on any kind of open flame. You don't have to use a Coleman grill outside. Uh, if you want to make your fish outside, you can just go ahead and take your entire cooktop outside and do all of your prep work at your picnic table. Because as those of us who camp a lot know, you know, sometimes it's raining and we're cooking inside and sometimes it's sunny and we're cooking outside. This gives you that dexterity, which is really, really nice. Um, of course, no drawer would be complete in an RV without a ton of remotes. One thing to note is I can just walk from one room to the next with the same remote. I don't have to use the remote in each location. Um, I will need the remote for my sleep number bed. It is dual side, so I can, I can set my favorite. So if I'm a five, maybe my boyfriend's a 10, you know, he wants it stiffer, whatever it is, you can go ahead and set that with your remote. 
and then you'll see these two Bose remotes. These are both for your these are for your sound bars. Um, highly underrated. These are really really nice to have. Um, great thing to just be able to sync your phone and listen into your PlayStation, um, you know, or your set stations that you have, whether it be on you know um, your Apple Music or you know Pandora, whatever you happen to use. You can go ahead and just get that you know cooking through the throughout the coach without having to you know have a separate speaker and that's both on the interior and then also on our exterior TV which is an option for this vehicle that we do have included on this coach. Um, the extendable island is a great place for any kind of cheese plate, guacamole, salsa or just prep if you want a little extra room in the kitchen goes such a long way. There's a little electronic button here that you have to push to uh, open and close this. It's important to understand if you don't have power, you can't use that. So you have to turn on your house to be able to open and close that island. But look at these full extension drawers all the way out. So much storage. I mean, again, a, a ton of room and a very, very small package. Um, and of course, no great kitchen would be complete without a nice uh, washer or dishwasher. We use this, um, honestly, much more frequently than I expected. Um, the little Tide Pods do fit right here. You can even use the Jet Dry stuff. Um, but little, little well not Tide Pod, but little uh, Cascadia Pods or whatever they're called, they fit right there. But we use it as a drying rack all the time. It just keeps things off of the counter. So if we make breakfast, we're probably not going to have enough dishes to where we need to you know, put all of our cereal bowls in the dishwasher and run it, but we can just put them down there, let them dry and get them out of the way so that we can kind of get, get on with making sandwiches or whatever we're going to do for our hike that day, which is very nice. Um, I always love that we have these great places for scrubbies and uh, sponges. Um, again, I've, I know I mentioned the faucets I, earlier, but I love this dark metal finish. And these are spray and pour residential faucets. They're very, very nice, very sleek, very sexy. Above your dual undermount stainless steel sink, just a great workspace. And then there's a ton of room down here. And what you'll see is that I've got the covers for the sink stowed. So this is actual stowage area. And then I can get to all of my supplies, my cleaning supplies. And then I also have my little removable trash can. And there's more room for supplies back there as well. So just a really, really uh, residential setup here in this kitchen. Uh, you'll note that there's like this little uh, vent here. This is for your hydronic heat. So as I mentioned earlier, you've got a tankless hot water heater for your sink, for your shower, but also for your heat. So the electric in-floor heating is actually electric. Uh, the hydronic heat on this coach is actually a tube running off of that tankless hot water heater of a glycol mix that actually gets really hot and then it pushes air over that hot tube and it blows into the coach right through these vents. So this is great. Um, heat pumps tend to work up until about 38, 36 degrees and then they actually start blowing kind of lukewarm air and then they actually will blow in cold air. These are going to be fantastic. Your heat pump can actually run off of AC1 on a 50 amp charge, AC2 or you can actually just run it off of the diesel burner. So for those of you who want to boondock, the great water supply, the huge amount of gray water, and then the hydronic heat are all lending into you being able to get off grid in combination with that eight kilowatt generator. So this coach, for those of you who might want to not only camp in uh, campgrounds, RV parks across the country, um, especially the country clubs where this would be a very welcome vehicle uh, due to the fact that it's a flat front, it's over 36 feet, this would be very, very, um, very, very welcome at, you know, Indio, or if you wanted to go to Steelhead, any of those great campgrounds across the country where you can only get in with those nicer buses. But it would also be good if you just wanted to go up into some BLM land in the back of Colorado, set up for the weekend, hang out with the kids and just go, you know, ride your, ride your side-by-sides, go get some dirt bikes, you know, go fishing. This is a great coach with a lot of dexterity because of the way that it's equipped. Um, so important to mention. The other thing that it has, I think that's so uh, crucial, um, you know, I knew that when I upgraded into my Numar that I wanted to have central vac. I knew that that was an important feature to me. Um, I can't tell you how often I use it. I love the central vac system. Of course, this is for the hoses. I have to use those a little more frequently because of the fact that I have carpet in my, vent uh, I shouldn't say Ventana, in my Superstar, which is the Ventana level. Um, but here in the Dutch Star, with a broom, you could just sweep everything into that kick plate and it's in a great location. Uh, right outside of this mid bath. So again, this is just another thing that's going to lend this to having a lot of dexterity. Two porcelain thrones. 
very, very important stuff uh, when you're on the road together for a long time that if someone's taking a shower, the other person is not uh, without a place to use the facilities or just get ready, maybe blow dry their hair. Uh, this is a very, very nice setup on a very small coach. So because of this flat front in 40 feet, you can fit not only a bath and a half, but also the king size bed. So just a great setup. Uh, now that Jody's giving you kind of a cursory look through, I do want to show you the brains of the operation. So your central control system with all of your breakers. You've got two, um, two more 110 outlets that are, eight, are uh, GFI grounded. For floor heat, you can see part heat one and heat two. Again, this is a three zone floor heat. And then here you have, again, all carpet lined really nice um, medicine cabinets and there's a 110 outlet here so you could actually keep your hair dryer or your flat iron up here if you're the early riser of the family and you want to get up and get ready you don't have to go you know digging around back or knocking on the door you can just go ahead and keep everything here again tons of counter space like that little glowy orange button that i mentioned earlier if the if the uh, black water is full but tons and tons of under cab space and this is really important stuff because when you have dish towels and washcloths and hand towels and toothbrushes and hair brushes and all the things that it takes to have a residential experience in your camper. You don't really want to take them in and out all the time or bring more for you know some points and bring less at others because there's more people or less. It's so nice that you have so much extra storage in this set star that you'll probably never be able to use all of it, which is just fantastic. Now I am going to close this bedroom slide up right now just in, in preparation for uh, showing you what this coach has got for walking space. And I'd like to warn you, um, if you're buying this Dutch Star because you've got, you know, a 250 pound dog that needs to be able to go back and forth, up and down through the island, um, it's a little bit of a tight fit. So one thing that you get with all of this big furniture is that when the coach is closed, you don't have quite as much walking room. Uh, but what we do is we do things like put these little doors um, on a hinge so that you can still access your, your uh, restroom and you can still access your refrigerator and you can still access your kitchen and your pantry while you're in motion. So this, this coach is designed for you to be able to use it while you're in motion. It will definitely be a little bit tighter of a fit. It sounds like we've got a live question. Go ahead, Jody, what's the question? The question is, can you use one remote on all of the TVs? The answer to the question, uh, which is, can you use one remote on all the TVs is yes. Um, and the only reason I know that is I figured that out by accident because I ended up having like three of the four remotes last camping trip in my room and everyone's like where's all the remotes and I was like oh is this they're not the remote for the bedroom and so I was just you know acquiring remotes so yes you can use all of them uh, <laughs> wouldn't recommend that you bring them all into one room though because no one else can use them but hey uh, okay so back to this table I know we saw the island that uh, or the uh, inserts that were underneath the bed earlier but as I mentioned this has got a little leg that comes down so you don't have to worry about it having too much weight on it. So it's got its own support system. But as you can see, with this extension, I can sit here, have another person and another person very easily sitting at a minimum four, but very comfortably uh, four. Uh, and, at a, and I could also seat six very easily. So this is a great layout uh, here um, in your extended booth dinette. Love that. Um, another thing that's really nice about this is that underneath, if you're like me, I like to keep uh, one side full of all of the things that like our laptops and computer stuff and then I use the other one for placemats so just a nice little storage area here for all of your stuff down below uh, this villa furniture is beautiful it's got a very nice soft handle to it and then as you can see there's a ton of storage here overhead as well uh, and you get a clock unless you buy an Essex or a King Air, and then you don't get a clock, but I love the clock. I think the clock is really classy. Just the, underneath the clock on the left, you'll see two 110 outlets there. And then to the right of the dinette, you'll see another two 110 outlets as well as two USB ports. So plenty of room for people to charge their stuff. And then one of my favorite things about this coach is the USB ports that are here on the inside of the theater seats and I love these theater seats. So I get a lot of questions, and of course, you can watch all my videos, but that would be a lot of time on television, because I think I've got like 130. Um, how flat are they? This is how flat they are. So that's the answer. Uh, could you sleep here? I don't know, this is pretty comfortable. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a side sleeper, so probably not. I'd probably use the couch, which I'll show you in just a second. 
Uh, but this is a very, very nice situation here. Of course, our Televator has a uh, pop-up uh, opposing. So again, the sound bar above is going to be what you would use for your THX surround sound. So you've got that really, really robust, you know, dramatic sound if you're watching a movie. Um, but a really, really nice, uh, a nice setup here uh, for watching TV um, or watching movies in the event that, you know, for instance, we go to Estes Park a ton. It always rains in the afternoon. And you can also see that there's another hub here if you wanted to keep your USB, or I'm sorry, your, um, if you wanted to keep your DVD player or your Blu-ray player up here, the, uh, the HDMI cords are already here. Every, all your plugins are ready to rock and roll and there are uh, 110 outlets in the back there as well. And then, of course, great place to keep some DVDs if you did have a Blu-ray player uh, or some board games, for instance. Monopoly, of course, if you want to have family fights or cribbage if you just want to have fun. No, no one fights when they play Monopoly, do they, Jody? Yeah, they all fight when they play Monopoly. All right, so back to our shades. So here's a cool situation. So let's just do all up. I love the fact that there are uh, shades here for the kitchen as well. Uh, this is the optional kitchen window. As you can see, uh, these do both pop out, so they do vent. Uh, the way that they vent is right here. You can just pop this little bad boy out. So you've got vent there. Now, why is that nice? Because you also have your fantastic fan here. So if you are in a position where maybe you're making a trout and it's raining outside, you have to cook fish in your RV, you can at least get that cross flow because these windows, the way that they're oriented is if it was raining, it would still just strip off. So you could actually get that ventilation in your coach uh, while you're cooking, making this for once again, a very, very nice residential setup. Uh, there are also outlets here up top there's two 110s here, and then there's two more here for your coffee pot. I do think I missed that earlier, so I apologize. And let's just do all... Oh. There are like 15 settings on this, so you could really get this down to uh, all day. So let's go ahead and do all day. So we're just going to drop down the day shades, and as you can see, great way to have a little bit of privacy, but still have light throughout the coach. But if you'll note over here on this left-hand side, again, another carefree awning. Uh, giving you that protection and it's really hot today. It's actually supposed to be I think hundred in Greeley It'll be 96 here in Frederick, Colorado where Transwest uh, Frederick is located just off of I-25 uh, Just about 15 minutes north of Denver uh, for those of you that are interested um, But it's gonna be warm and so in running this I'm literally running the entire coach uh, Off of the 8 kilowatt generator. I'm not plugged into any kind of heat um, and I'll show you some of these different lights. So we'll turn these overheads off and the wall lights, and then we'll turn the ceiling lights on. So that's the low setting for the ceiling lights. And then I can also turn them up to a higher setting. So like I said, really interesting that you can have so much differentiation and lighting controls in this coach. And certainly one of the things that you would pay a little extra for if you wanted to go upgrade into the Dutch Star. Um, now also really nice if you wanna know, these panels do remove. The only reason they're down there is because it's covering some bolts. So you've got a very deep uh, compartment there there's nothing really else going on but you do have a nice tray here so you can actually put some things um, for instance one of your remotes so that I don't run off with all of them let me go ahead and put this TV back down so while the TV is dropping I'm gonna go ahead and move these uh, cushions again this is the Wiley decor uh, and please also note that Numar is really cool in that you know we have uh, four different wood samples that are available in the Dutch star we also have uh, at least a minimum at uh, all times of three interior colors. But if you have a darker couch, for instance, and you'd like to, you know, get everything that you see in Wiley, but maybe a more beige couch, you can do that. You can actually mix and match your colors. Again, all it takes is a little bit of patience. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull up here. Um, it's only important to show you this bed because of the fact that this is the only, uh, this is the only sleeping area in the front because we don't have the trifold sofa. But when you get the theater seats, instead of having a jackknife bed on the drivers are on the passenger side, you do get this beautiful trifold sofa. And the cool thing about this, first of all, there's two seat belts behind here. Uh, there's one in that uh, booth over there, so there's a total of five seat belts. Um, but what's nice about this is where your hip is placed. So your hip placement is right here on the side. So 
if you're sleeping on this coach I, uh, or on this couch, one of the things I think that people are worried about is, is it comfortable? And the answer is yes. You don't feel any of these bends because your shoulder and your upper body is supported by one cushion, your hips another, and then of course your legs are here at the top. So that's a very, very comfortable uh, situation. Just don't show your friends this video and they won't know that they can come camping with you too. Because if you show them the video, they're gonna wanna go camping with you, I'm just saying. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous RV. So um, again, 4081 just gives you a little extra dexterity. Uh-oh, I, I did it wrong, Jody. There we go. Sorry, so you have to hold the little hooky thing when you drop it. Well, you don't have to, but if you don't, it won't go all the way into place. Um, this coach also has, of course, one of my favorite things. I love one cushion and not having to stack them. I complain about that 95% of my videos you watch. Uh, but anyway, I love, that's just a great, great couch setup. Super comfortable. All right, so now that we've seen most of the galley and the living room, let's go ahead and bring our carefree awnings in. So over here on the, oh, let's see, off door side. There we go, retract. You can see that, can you see that with the camera? Even though the day shades are down, okay. And I've got it set up over here. You can see it really easily on the other side. I'm almost up. I can just see those arms coming in. And of course, these are going to be um, shades that you can keep deployed. So even when your full uh, carefree awnings can't be deployed because it's too windy, um, of course, you don't want to put these up during a tornado or anything. Uh, but they're definitely less um, sensitive to the wind than your typical uh, awnings are on your coach. So that's also a nice feature. I'm going to leave the one over the door side it's still up. Um, let's just talk while we're up here about some of this stuff. So again, as you can see, lights come on automatically in the Dutch Star whenever you open things due to magnets. There, there's a magnet right there. Um, this is to bring your slides in and out. Um, you've got all of your exterior security lights, which is really nice that you have here. I've got this step in a locked position so it won't open and close until I'm done camping. This is what we were talking about with your hydronic heat running on AC1 or AC2, as well as your hot water. So you can turn your burner on, which is gonna run off of your generator, or you can just run off of AC1 or AC2 if you're plugged into 50 amp. So this is a really nice system. Um, AC2, in my experience, will give me enough hot water for a decent shower, but if I want a really hot shower, I might turn my burner on and have it set to AC2, even if I'm plugged in. Uh, this is that Razor antenna, of course, just telling you how many stations we have locally. We've got 19 here in our campground. And if you want to just show outside to the left here, this is our campground. So these people that are here um, are either, that reflection might be here as a trade-in or the lifestyle uh, might be here as a trade-in, but these are people that are having service done on their vehicles. So we've got 50 amp, uh, you can plug in. As you can see, there's actually some chairs over there. Someone's probably out for the day or maybe they brought their coach in to get an oil change, whatever it might be. But it's a really nice place to be able to bring your RV. Uh, and we're right in the middle of the country, so we're very conveniently located. Um, we have house service here in, uh, in, in Frederick as well as chassis so we can do not only you know fixing your blinds maybe adjusting your air conditioners but we can also get your oil changed do an alignment things like that so very nice to have both uh, both uh, house and chassis in one location and right down the street in branch one which is our big headquarters we actually have a full body shop um, so if you had some kind of repair that needed to be done we would be outfitted and able to do that both in paint or body as well so really big organization um, out of our, I think, 42 stores, I think it used to be 38, I think it's up to 42 stores. Um, out of our 42 stores that we have, only four are RV stores. Um, we're a very, very large semi-truck company, so we're uh, not only uh, equipped to handle the house for Freightline, I'm sorry, for uh, Winnebago, Newmar, Renegade, and uh, Prevost Emerald Line, but we also are going to be Elite Daimler certified for Freightliner, we're Spartan certified. Um, so, you know, we really have the capacity to do a lot of things here at our, at our store, so we're a great place to have bought your RV from. Um, okay, so we talked about awnings just for a brief second there. Oh, this is just showing me what I'm using, so where my air conditioning is coming from, like what my load rate is, um, where it's getting its power, so all of that's right, a nice digital display. Uh, it says solar prep here. Uh, I will add at least three panels to this coach, giving it about 510 uh, watts of solar. I can add a fourth panel, getting me close to 700 watts if I want. Uh, it's a little less expensive for me to do it so I can get more solar for less money here at TransWest. So we do prep most of our vehicles and then we add 
uh, ZAMP system here just to save money and also get better performance. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit out here and there's a remote to do this as well. I could also turn my lights on and off. Uh, so very, very nice setting there. These are the awning controls. I'm gonna go ahead and retract, oh, I already retracted that awning and I'm gonna go ahead and retract my slides then. So let's go ahead and get that done. So we'll go ahead and do in. And this is kind of fun. We're gonna watch this hydraulic slide pop up. So HWH uh, provides um, the hydraulic power for this unit. And as you can see, uh, someone said, can a cat get through there? So Jody, if you can go nice and low, you'll see that there's a little stopper that comes out. You'd have to have like a really small cat, but maybe you'd keep your kitty put away until after your slide was in because yeah, if your cat did get under the slide, that would be really weird. Um, I might be more concerned about them getting in over the top of the slide. I would imagine most kitties like to go places they shouldn't be, and that looks like a really naughty cat spot right there. Um, but anyway, so this is all your walking space. Am I, all, am I all the way in? Hold on, let me make sure. I don't know that I'm all the way in. Yep, that one's locked. That's it. Okay, so I'm all the way in. Uh, like I said, it's not like a huge amount of walking area. It's not terrible. Um, if you've got a bad hip or a bum ankle or something like that, this, or you're, maybe you've got a walker, you'd have to hold on to the furniture because there's not enough room for that. But this is your walking space. But as I mentioned earlier, as you can see, you can still cook, um, you know, honey, make me a sandwich right here, you know, do your dishes, uh, <laughs> you know, all of those things. I always think it's really unfair. I drive my RV quite frequently, but when we're on trips together, my boyfriend's almost always driving. So I always get to go on as many potty breaks as I want, um, which I think is probably, you know, unbalanced in our relationship, but that's okay. Um, I think uh, this is, like I said, it's just important to see what you have going for you. Uh, still plenty of room. And you'll note that I have the television down. Now when I'm in uh, storage mode, I am gonna have this TV down. Now I still have, again, more 110 outlets, more USB ports, so I could definitely be watching something on like my, my iPad, but I wouldn't be able to watch TV on my Televator because it should be stowed while in motion. Uh, so this coach is equipped with the optional uh, 4K TV in the front as well. So another 43 inch TV, one in the bedroom, another one outside, and then a 50 inch that pops up. So there's a lot of televisions going on in this coach, but if you needed to watch, you know, for instance, the Avs win the Stanley Cup, and you were, you know, in route, you'd hate to miss the game, so you could go ahead and turn that on so you didn't miss anything good. Uh, had to get a little plug there. Very excited about our sports teams this year. We, Broncos might be looking pretty good too. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so another thing I'm excited about, 10 inch screens. Really nice to have two of them. This has got the optional 360 degree camera, which is overhead, so this is actually not the coach, but there are cameras located on the outside. Um, this little image is just plugged in the middle, but you can see all around, you can see the cracks and the pavement. If there was a rock that I might run into, I could see that. And then I can also see my rear view camera. I can also see my left and right cameras all on this screen while still having access to either my radio, uh, my navigation, um, this is the new nav and go system. So of course we don't do Rand Mac and now anymore. Now we do nav and go works great. Still has the same things. Plug in your dimensions, name your coach, make sure that you're not going to go over any bridges or under any underpasses that are too low. And then I want to turn on this, uh, this, uh, this just so we can take a look at this beautiful glass dash. So this is something that's really changed in the last few years, um, with RVs in general. Um, one of the things that's really nice about this is that you can see I can go through and change the brightness. I can look at any kind of warnings that I might have. I can set things up. When it says set, like I could set my comfort drive to be as low or high as I want. And it says one through five, but I'm actually clicking more than once in between each number. So it's a very, very precise setting for comfort drive. Um, I can also go down and I can change, you know, my... Um, my units, if I wanted to, to from metric, uh, you know, to Celsius. So I can use metric, I can use Fahrenheit, I can use Celsius, I can use miles, I can use kilometers, all of those things. I get a lot of questions about that, honestly. Um, and then I can look through my trip computer and see, oops, see all the different uh, things that I'm looking at here. So I can set an, a B trip, for instance, if I wanted just to measure what kind of gas mileage I was getting. Um, how much fuel I used in, on my most recent trip. Uh, and then I can go through and see all of those and kind of toggle through and set different 
uh, different settings, which is really nice to be able to track my uh, track my my fuel economy. Also, I can take a look at my PSI, and then I can see my uh, tire pressure monitors as well, which is a really really nice uh, feature that I've got all uh, digital readouts on my dash. I've also got a hard set where my speed is always here. And then here I can turn my volume up and down on my radio, just with a touch of a button. And I know that that sounds like a like insignificant thing, but to be honest with you, when you're driving a really big 40 foot, you know, non aerodynamic brick through the, through the atmosphere, the last thing you want to do is be looking over here for your volume. So just having everything here, your hands is great. You can answer your phone with Bluetooth. You've got your windshield wipers high and low all right here. So just a very, very nice layout with a Spartan dash. Um, so we love that aspect of Spartan. We've got a wireless uh, charging dock up here for our cell phone, as well as left and right uh, window or mirror controls. As you can see, we have beautiful chrome convex mirrors. Um, they are heated. Um, of course, your typical, you know, house and chassis battery boost, so you can use one or the other to get you going. Um, all of your light controls as well, USB or a, an auxiliary input. I guess you want to listen to a book on tape or yeah, something. Sure. Oh, do we have a question? We do have some questions. Uh oh, questions. Hopefully, know the answer. What is our first one? How do we put a fitted sheet on the guest bed with the notches on the end? Um, I would just get a queen set. It would usually hold a full, but if you get a queen, it'll fit right over. That's what I've done with mine in the past. So we have the same uh, trifold, and I would say that you could just use a queen set to get that fitted, fitted sheet on there. And just um, for those of you that are asking questions about sheets, one thing I'll tell you, I only buy RV fitted sheets for our 72 by 80 king bed. And then what I've found for guest sleeping quarters, um, I, I like sleeping bags and I know that that sounds crazy but making and unmaking a bed every day is really cumbersome so what we found is on Amazon they have these very basic uh, really nice little you know I have different colors so everyone knows which sleeping bag they've used but if you haven't considered that um, we did a road trip with my daughter during COVID where she was doing all of her online learning in our RV and the one thing that we didn't like was having to make and dismantle the bed every day uh, so I went to this sleeping bag system and no one's complained if it's really cold you can put the blanket inside with you if it's not it's pretty comfortable um, but they're really easy to pack up in the morning you just throw your pillows inside of the sleeping bag take them pick them up hug them in the back on top of the bed and everyone's ready to have breakfast so um, but yeah you could get a queen size it wouldn't fit as well on the top but at least you could get it over the edges we, do have another. we have another question When boondocking, if there's no cell service, does the coach have a Wi-Fi connection you can use if you need to use a laptop to work? Uh, so the question is, is when you're boondocking, what happens if you've got poor cell phone uh, reception? Uh, there's a few different things. Um, we've got, first of all, there's a lot of people. If you're boondocking out in open space and you have the, um, uh, oh, what's that called by Elon Musk? Starlight, Star Starlink? Starting. Yeah, so if you could use Starlink in that situation. Um, we bought, we purchased our first RV and second, both before we actually got our Starlink receiver, which we use at our house out in the country. Um, but what I use is Cradle Point. So Cradle Point offers a 4G and a 5G, and we've found very few places where we can't get cell phone reception. But we do use a Cradle Point system, um, and then we have two SIM cards that we're running that gets us better um, connectivity uh, because we do do a lot of work from the road. So we use our RV. Uh, during zoom calls so I would definitely look into if you're trying to work from the road as opposed to just going with your standard system uh, in 2023 there's a really nice upgraded system that's got a much better uh, bandwidth and a much better capacity but for those of you that are really working from the road uh, I would consider consider using Starlink um, or using Cradle Point or you can use both um, of course Starlink is going to be great in open spaces where Cradle Point is going to be places uh, where you're going to have better cell, cell phone connectivity like maybe out in their national parks. So there's there's certainly ways around them and if you have further questions of course feel free to find me at RVs Inside Out. You can always get my number just shoot me a text message or an email and I can give you information on all of those things. Uh, but currently I'm using Cradle Point and I have their 5G system and uh, we haven't found a place that we can't work unfortunately at this point. <laughs> We're trying though. Any other questions? We're good? All right. Okay, so um, thanks, by the way, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, one of the nice things that you'll note here is that we have, first of all, big steering wheel, cup holders, 
And then um, I know it sounds silly, but having a um, a big window that you can reach in and out of is super nice. So when you're going through that drive-through, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, and we don't use tolls anymore. You should have a toll, toll 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 thing installed. We have a really great toll module that gets you through all the states. But just nice to have a driver's window that you can open and close. And then of course we've got our Allison transmission. Um, I want to talk a little bit. So first of all, engine brake, high, medium, and low. You have to turn it on first, and then you've got three different settings here. Um, having three settings for your engine brake is really nice. Um, but I want to talk about our HWH computer uh, or leveling system. So as you can see here, there's an orange light here in the front. That is telling you that this coach is nose forward. Um, so wherever you have your little orange lights, it's telling you wh that you're where, where you are. And when all of your lights are off because you've hit auto level, that means that you're flat. But we are not using the equalizer leveling system. We're using the HWH leveling system, um, which is a fantastic company, um, you know, proprietary to Numar uh, for our leveling system. And we also use the same uh, hydraulic leveling system for that slide. So all of that, um, all of your hydraulics are being run by HWH. And again, another proprietary company that will be unique to Numar is going to be that Oasis system as opposed to using Aqua Hot. And it certainly is a difference maker. I think that having those extra settings is always just all that much nicer. Um, of course, great place to keep things like your keys so you don't lose them, right? And then of course, again, another nine volt here so that when you need your radar detector because you know, you're speeding in your RV because you're crazy. Um, no, so I don't know what you'll use that for, but it's, it's nice to have that. Um, of course, these do swivel. So I do want to show you, there's your um, recliner, which is nice. And then of course they are power seats. And um, you'll see we've got a really nice handrail to go in and out. But the other thing that's important, I think, to show is this step cover. A lot of people want to know how that step cover works. So here we go ahead, go ahead and deploy the step cover. And you'll see that's really nice color match and it pops right into space. And then you can put your cat underneath. No, I'm just kidding. Don't put your kitty there. Well, maybe only while you're putting your slides in and out. Ooh, why do I always say that needs to get lubricated? <laughs> All right, so um, one thing I think is kind of in unique and interesting to this is that if you put your visor all the way down when your RV is turned off, when you turn it back on, it doesn't come, it doesn't go up automatically. So if you wanted to drive with your visor all the way down, you heard it here first. No, I wouldn't do that. But I do think it's kind of interesting. But it's just nice to see how these all work. Um, oh, and I love the adjustable pedals. I don't have it on right now, so I'm not turning on and off. But um, I definitely needed to move the pedals closer to me to be able to um, drive the RV earlier today. So that was, I love adjustable pedals because I'm vertically challenged. Okay, so let's talk about other things that are awesome about Numars. Uh, customer support, as you'll note here, we typically only have one person. Here we have Spencer and Mary that are here for Dutch Star support. You can email either of them at DutchStarService at NewmarkCorp.com. You can also put this 800 number for Spartan in this case in your phone. They have an app as well. You definitely wanna be a participant with Nugal and Nupar. So Nupar is a parts system. So if you know that you need a water filter, you can go onto Nupar and just order your water filter. If you don't know how to operate your slide control, you can go to Nugal and watch a whole video on how to do it there. Cause this is Nugal, is Google and Numar mixed together with all the answers that you might need. But having these two people here for owner support is clutch. And this 800 number goes to an after hours phone. So if there's a real emergency, you're actually going to be able to get in touch with somebody who can help you get out of that situation. All of that being said, one of the most important things I think, um, in what we offer here at trans West is a gentleman by the name of Bill Habercorn. Uh, so what that means, Bill Habercorn, what does he do? Well, you can call Numar, you can email them. Um, but you can also text Bill and he's an employee of ours and his whole entire uh, position here at the store is owner support and he knows so much. So this morning I was having a hard time with the couch. He came out and he's like, okay, you just do this, do that. Here you go. Everything's set. Um, it's really nice to have somebody who's that handy. I've never met an RV that Bill couldn't figure out. Um, and so as a client uh, buying an RV from TransWest, having access to somebody especially if you're in a new RV. So for those first few weeks, you might come across a lot of questions. He's employed to do this for us 100% of the time. So he really doesn't mind 
um, answering questions and you can send him a text and he'll get right back to you. So that's a real luxury um, that our ownership understands is necessary for people who are uh, really trying to get their, you know, sea legs on in their new RVs. And um, he's there for the continued support too. Maybe you pull it out, you know, after having it stored for the winter and you don't remember something. It's just nice to have somebody that you can reach out with simple text message and get a response from right away. Um, all of that being said, another two USB ports here, another two 110 outlets, um, another two USB ports here. There are just so many throughout this coach. Uh, wireless charging dock. Uh, the step cover controls are here as well. And when do you say, why would you need the map lights? Well, you have your mobile desk. So I know whoever just like logged in may be interested in seeing that this is a great workstation. And uh, if you have that cradle point system, we are able to do Zoom calls while we are on the road in motion uh, cross country, which is made for us to work when we're supposed to be camping. I mean, yeah, it's great. No, I'm not being a cynic. Okay, Jody, don't come down yet because I want to show you some exciting stuff that's super cool. For those of you who have fine furry friends, uh, there is a great place to keep, like, oh my gosh, uh, what a nice place for dog food. And then for all of your, like, leashes and pet bowls and all of that stuff, I mean, that's awesome. Now, if you don't have fine furry friends, no problem. But if you do, I just love that space for that because I think that that's just where you need to have it anyhow. Um, and then on our way out, Jody, we're going to go ahead and show the heated seat on this side and then this power baggage door lock as well. And then our, our house disconnect too. So we'll show those things. Um, so those power door locks are so handy. It's so nice to be able to actually unlock all of your bays at the same time. Now, one thing to know is that where does it have it here? Cargo capacity, 9,400 and 65 pounds can be added to this coach of stuff. That is great carry capacity. Um, I wanted to show just real quickly your really nice screen. Um, I'm gonna do this. You can pop it up, you can bring it down and you have to snap it into place. But you could open that if you wanted to hand over some big stuff. If you've just got, you know, hand, hey, hand me a beer. Got a great compartment here and you can close that up so that you don't get mosquitoes in the coach, of course big window uh, that does have a cover as well and then here you'll see that we have our touchpad for our lock so you can unlock and lock your coach here from the touchpad two is to unlock your baggage doors one is to, to unlock your coach and then you have that doorbell that jody always rings when he comes in to see me uh, here you'll see this is where you mount your flag uh, your flagpole bracket it goes right here and then right below that you're going to have your uh your left hand uh or your yeah your your passenger side turn indicator, when you turn this on, you'll be able to see down the passenger side so you can make sure that you've passed whomever it is that you want to pass before you change lanes. And then I am standing underneath our Gerard awning system. This is such a cool feature of this coach. So uh, I was telling someone this weekend, uh, having both of them might be overkill, but what I found is that I end up using one or the other very frequently, depending on where the sun is in our campsite. So I might not have both of them out at the same time, but it's really nice to have them both because depending on where the sun's coming from, I can get my picnic uh, table shaded the whole way through, which is really, really handy. Um, now you'll note that there's a lot of security lights here. So there's a security light there. There's also security lights underneath or uh, under mount slide lights as well. And then on the 40 foot Dutch star, you'll have a hundred gallon fuel capacity. If you were to go to the 43, you'll have 150. You'll also have a dual fill uh, def system with up to 15 gallons. Um, I love the changes that they've made with this. It's so nice to have a shelf up here to put things down while you're getting your refrigerator out or your freezer, whatever you'd like it to be. Um, it's just nice that they have that little shelf up there because if you come in and you've got a whole bunch of stuff that you want to put in there, like where do you put it down until you get this pulled out so you can go ahead and open. It's just fantastic. Um, so of course this is the new CFX which gives you a little bit more dexterity in terms of uh, being able to set the two sides differently and separate from each other. Um, and then it plugs in right here. Of course having a 9 volt outside is clutch for those of us who don't want to use the manual inflate for our paddle boards. Great paddle board inflation station. Is that funny? Paddle board inflation station? Jeez I'm smart. Alright. Uh oh. Slam latches. There we go. So 
That's another thing we did in 2022. We, we made our doors easier to close, which is super nice. Um, these slides are so cool. As you can see, way, way out there. So 60% extension. That way, if you do have your passenger or driver side slide extended, you can still get to your stuff all the way through to the middle. So you can get to either side. These are the attachments for your uh, central vac system. And then underneath here, you can see this star foundation that really makes this coach unique. So these, uh, these rails that you see coming in, of course, are taking all of the weight from that heavier part of the coach and then bringing it down towards the center. And they're also raising the coach off of the chassis rail so you don't get tile popping or creaking, giving you a much quieter drive down the freeway, uh, keeping you much warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer as well, is our ability to then have a three inch thick subfloor. Um, and so by building our uh, base above the chassis rail first, we can actually con construct our subfloor and pick it up and bring it over and then put it down, uh, creating a really nice separation there and keeping you from having that tile uh, popping and just a much quieter road, uh, road presence as well. Uh, so this is a half slide, as you can see. Um, this has got, you know, if, you're, if, you're, um, if your slide got stuck out, this is what you would use to get it back in. This is your porcelain uh, tile replacement. So if you cracked a tile, you'd have that as well. We've got two 110 outlets here in the center bay. Great place to make margaritas right below the television, of course, for when you're watching Stranger Things. That's our new thing. We were watching Stranger Things when we go camping if it rains. It's our, it's our little a little TV show that we're watching right now. Um, and again, I mentioned earlier that you've got another 43K or 43 inch uh, 4K smart TV out here along with another one of those Bose sound bars. You can uh, also plug in two phones here. So you've got two USB ports as well as two 110 outlets on the left-hand side. And then you can also run your radio um, off of not only your television, but off of the dash. So over here on the left-hand side, you'll see that there's some different settings here. So if you're just listening to the baseball game and you wanna hear that Colorado's Rockies are you know, crushing it and you wanna hear them winning, go ahead and turn on your dash radio and sit out here and have a, have a cocktail and hang out with your friends. Um, okay, so of course that's that mid-bath window right there. Underneath there we will have our water tank. Um, and then we have a nice pegboard here so that you can go ahead and get all of your tools hung up. Uh, and some of the models they'll have shelves there for your bar, which I think is really nice. Um, so we talked again. About this tag axle. Whenever you have an any, it goes forward. Whenever you have an Audi, it can turn. So you'll note that the wheel in the front is an Audi. The wheel back here is also an Audi. That's because the wheel in the front turns and the wheel back here can also turn. This is your tag. And then of course, another security light. Uh, these alcohol rims are highly unspoke of. I'll tell you, when you have a nice aluminum rim, they don't get as hot. They also don't make as much noise. They don't shake as much. They don't have that reverberation. So very big deal. Here's the first half of that 15 gallon DEF system. Again, this is a dual fill DEF system, which is nice because it means you can go into either side of your filling station. And then one of the things that Spartan does that's kind of unique is they like to get everything in one bay. So they make everything very convenient. You've got your uh, two chassis batteries back here as well as your switches, um, but they're very particular in giving you good filter access. Um, and keep in mind, um, Freightliner and Spartliner are both fantastic. Uh, they both have their pluses and minuses. Of course, Freightliner is very prevalent across the country, but Spartan specializes in RVs. So anytime you go into a Spartan facility, they're ready for RV services, where Freightliner facilities aren't always RV facilities as well. When you know you're going into a Spartan facility, it's always gonna be an RV facility. Um, also, here's your egress door. It was not broken. I'm just not a good opener. No one make fun of me on my comments down below. Well, you can if you want, it's fine. I get used to it. All right, so uh, we have brake sync on the Freightliner, but we still have the same thing on Spartan where we have our pre uh, our preset tow air right here, as well as our uh, seven pin connecting system. And then again, a 15,000 pound towing capacity. And again, this is the Spartan K2 chassis. And I just wanna pull this down. And I love this special exterior paint. It's so pretty. But as I mentioned, they like to keep everything all accessible in one area. So you have all of your hydraulic pumps, 
you've got your oasis system here you've got your air filter everything is everything is right here so you can measure check your oil you know everything is right here and of course although this is a spartan chassis we still have that beautiful 8.9 liter cummins engine giving us 450 horsepower and again 1250 foot pounds of torque that is the difference maker um, and if you look at the freightliner engine compartment versus a spartan en engine compartment they are different um, so you know that's that's something that people um, have an affinity for one or the other get what you want call me order a coach let me get you what you like of course, uh, we start at the Dutch Star level with our side radiators. Very nice, giving us a little bit better engine access as you just saw. Here's the other half of that depth filling station. Um, as you can see, these are our carefree awnings in now, not deployed any longer. Uh, this is a great place to keep any kind of gravity hose, also some extra gloves, things along those lines, just to keep your sanitation station nice and tidy. And then as you can see here, we've got the SantaCon system on the left, so you don't really need a gravity system with this coach because it does have the optional SantaCon system, as well as your exterior hot and cold shower. Uh, you've got your paper towel dispenser. And then one of the things that we added um, for this year is we've got a really nice gray water rinse. So you can rinse your gray and black water. And then uh, your whole house water filter as well as you have your power uh, water supply. So this is just on a little power hose reel right here. Nice to be able to you just pull that to get it in and out, keep your hands nice and clean. Um, it's funny, I just, I brought a country star out uh, this weekend for a test drive and I had to pull the power cord in and I was feeling kind of sorry for myself and then I thought, well, that's kind of a first real world problem, but it is really nice to have a power cord on a power reel with just a button to push. Um, it does make it a little bit easier to use. Um, <laughs> like I said, I was feeling sorry for myself until I realized like how, how silly that really was. Um, but this little grommet, of course, is so that you can keep the door closed. Nice LED lights. Uh, you have your surge protector here as well. And then if you're still using cable, hey, there you go, baby. Cable access. Uh-oh, I think my... I think my cord is in the way. Just bring that down just a little bit. All right. And here is that Oasis system. And in 2022, we went to a dual loop system, giving us just a little bit better zone control. So very nice, very reliable system. Um, if you watch this video, it's important to understand you always need to have enough, enough hydronic fluid in the system for it to work. If you mention that you've watched this video, I would be more than happy to give you a free gallon of Oasis system if you're buying an RV from me so that you have that with you. It's really hard to get them to deliver it to you uh, if you're ordering it off of Amazon in the middle of the forest. So highly recommend that you have an extra gallon of that on hand uh, just in case. And then here's the other half of that huge slide we mentioned earlier. Um, and this of course is one of the major benefits that you get for buying a Class A. So much storage, so much accessibility. It's just a really, really nice thing to be able to have. I gotta tell my friend uh, to, yeah. Wait, turn around, take a look at that bike, Jody. This gentleman has a 2018 Dutch Star. He's here getting some service work done. Say good morning, a little cameo from our favorite star of the show. Oh, he had to walk, he had to walk it. Oh, those Indians, man, they make some nice noise. <laughs> Here's all eight of your uh, house batteries. These, of course, are on a uh, slide tray. Remove these pins, they pull in and out. Uh, one of the changes you're going to find for 2022 is that you can opt in for a lithium ion battery pack in 23. Uh, to be honest with you, this is the way that I would go if you'd like to discuss why. Give me a call. I'd be more than happy to kind of go over the pluses and minuses of lithium on the Dutch Star. And then again, this is the second half of your fill for your 100 gallon fuel tank. Here's where the brains of the operation are. This is your release to get into your generator. And it's important to understand what's really nice about having a generator in the front and your engine in the back is that when you're going down the road, you're not going to have engine noise 
but if your auto gen starts because it gets maybe a little bit too low on voltage in the middle of the night to run your air conditioning while you're boondocking, you're not gonna hear it in your bedroom because it's up here at the front of the coach. Again, slide markers. Uh, we've got an overhead camera system. There's a part of your 360 as well. So lots of cameras on this coach. Uh, and then I'll just show you quickly in here. This is your eight kilowatt generator, your air horns, you got hot water line running to the front compartment to wash those bugs off of your paint when you get to your camping destination. And again, this is just a fantastic offering here. This is a 4081 here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. It's stock number 5N220368. Again, 5N220368. You can pop that in to uh, your YouTube station to pull up this video at any time. Again, there's tons of links down below but I'm always happy to answer questions in, per in person. My name is Katie O'Neill. You'll find me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you make it a great day. Let us know how we can get you on the road.